Hello everyone and welcome to Missouri Grown Carolina Home. I'm Katie and today I am sharing with you my first what's for dinner. I hope you enjoy and without further ado, here's what we had this week for dinner. So tonight for dinner we're having tacos and I am browning up the hamburger meat and onions. To that I'll add uh, some homemade taco seasoning probably some taco sauce and maybe even some salsa. I'm going to try something new and make a Spanish cauliflower rice or a sandwich too. And that just takes cauliflower rice, uh, diced tomatoes with green chilies. I'll saute up some onions for that. They also call for tomato paste, but I don't have that. And I have some nacho cheese. And the crock pot warming up. So the taco meat is done and I had a fail. <laughs> My homemade taco seasoning wasn't really anything special so I decided to add a little bit more cumin but instead of cumin I grabbed cinnamon and did not realize it until it hit the pan so there's that. <laughs> But I'm still going to eat it. I mean, you can definitely taste cinnamon in it, but it is what it is, right? The riced cauliflower. I know that's not the best lighting, sorry. But it's good. It's really spicy. I didn't mean for it to be that spicy. But what it is, is riced cauliflower, a can of diced chilies, or tomatoes with diced chilies, sautéed onion, a little bit of taco sauce and some taco seasoning and it's pretty good I mean it's not like the Spanish rice you get at a restaurant or anything but it'll do so here's my plate I made a burrito with some of the I made some beans some of the Spanish poly rice taco cinnamon meat <laughs> And I put some cheese dip on it with some cheese and chips. And Callie is going to have a little street taco, a few chips with some cheese, and some beans. So that's dinner for tonight. For dinner, we're doing just easy shake and bake chicken tenderloins. I cut up an onion and I'm going to cut up a squash to do onions and squash. What I'll do is saute these onions in a little bit of baking grease until they're pretty much tender. Then add the cut up squash and saute that together for about five minutes. Add a third a cup of chicken broth, salt and pepper, and kind of simmer that together for five to eight minutes depending on the tenderness. I've got gravy made. My green beans are boiling in some chicken broth and in the pressure cooker my potatoes still have 16 minutes. Four mashed potatoes and I might do corn too depending on if everybody wants that. So the onions are in. I'm thinking about throwing in some garlic with that too. The squash is cut up and baked is over here eyeballing some cookies I made earlier. You see that? Oh, she's like, no, I'm not. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I didn't have any cookies. You know that. <laughs> anyway, when it's all done, I will show you what it looks like. So here it is ready for everyone to come make their plates. We have some shake and bake tenderloins, mashed potatoes, squash and onions, gravy, and green beans. And that's what's for dinner Tuesday. Tonight for dinner my husband smoked a chuck roast. I made some baked beans and macaroni and cheese. My husband Brian is working on some baked potatoes. And we have 
some corn to go with it. You playing kitchen? It is breakfast night and we are having bacon. I'm going to make some Belgian waffles and I have regular mix and then I made my brother a lower carb mix so hopefully that turns out. And we have some home fries cooking up too. So here's Callie's plate. She has waffles, home fries, and some bacon. And everybody else's is ready to be made. And there, I am going to make some lemon chicken that I marinated in lemon juice, olive oil, parsley, and seasoned salt, and some minced garlic. My pan is heating up, and I'm going to uh, kind of saute that up. I've got some broccoli and zucchini getting ready to go into the oven for roasting. And then I'm going to make some Alfredo. I've never had this before, but we saw it on Ingle's Bonanza sale and we thought we would try it. So I'm going to make this up and have like a chicken Alfredo dinner tonight. So I'm going to cook all this up and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And here it is all plated up. We have Callie's plate, Brian's plate, and my plate. And hopefully it's good. And we all enjoy. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you stick with me. I'm going to keep doing these and getting better as I go. So hopefully you liked it. Hopefully maybe you got some meal inspiration. And until next time, I post grocery hauls, and now, what's for dinners, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll see how it goes. But other way, otherwise, thank you for uh, watching, and I ask that you subscribe before you leave, check out some of my other videos, liking and comments on this video, and until next time, bye friends.